She's won the Nigeria and UK based Excellence in Education Award, as well as an award for excellence in entrepreneurship at the gathering of Africa's Best Awards 2014. And it's easy to see why, as well as a running a highly successful fashion label, Atiti Shosimi lectures, mentors, business owners, and encourages young people to become entrepreneurs. And as, as if that wasn't enough, she's produced and sold her own game board. You'll see it in a minute. And she joins me in the studio. Atiti. Thank you very much indeed for coming in. Um, first of all, um, tell us what these prestigious awards were about. Um, the Nigerian UK based Achievers Award um, is an organization that's based in Leeds, and they've decided to recognize uh, everyday people who, who are contributing in one way or another through their work and their achievements. Um, so, what did you actually do to attain those awards? I don't know. I was nominated. <laughs> I was nominated you just for excellence. Work at one I just worked very hard. <laughs> I worked very hard, but that was for the the excellence in um, education, um, and it's a, it's a combination between my work as a lecturer and supporting um, people through education. Uh, Clearly, you're seen as an inspiration. For a lot of people, I mean, I know it's difficult to, you know, have all this being sort of, you know, tossed your way about, you know, you doing this and that and so on. Because clearly, you're more focused on the work than the accolade. Yes. But this is the time to sit back and sort of take it all in. Mm. Yes, and but I'd like I'd like to really um, encourage, you know, other people as well who are doing. Uh, work in education and who sometimes feel that maybe the work isn't recognized to to keep at it because uh, as you know we, we have a, a population of young people who have sort of struggled through in recent years staying in education and that's where I've tended to focus a lot of my energy encouraging encouraging them to stay there and but it's also that sort of indomitable Nigerian go-getter spirit isn't it most definitely most <laughs> definitely right now you've got a board game but tell us about that let's take a look let's see it this is the board game uh, oh yeah there it is on the wall so that's fine but this is the game uh, tell us about this board game I'm sure she'll tell it was developed out of a, a book I'd written which was called the big secret and within the book the end of the story the young girl you know faced a, a dilemma of you know, hiding a big secret and not knowing what to do. Um, I su su sampled and surveyed and observed people's reactions as they got to the end of the book. And I, I sort of wished that I could bring it to life in some way. I felt that the, um, that the whole pressure of not knowing what to do and trying to decide who to tell was something that was very, very commonplace in families and amongst friends, you know, as well. So I mimicked the story and created 90 scenario cards which are in the board game um, and each one ends with um, a scenario a question would you shush or tell it um, right so 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 what was it's a family board game so fundamentally it's, it's, it is but we use it within education I mean I have schools who buy it right. and they integrate it into how, how long has it been out um, it came out in the end of June of 2010 and um, because it's being done by my, my, myself and you know my my my, my colleagues uh, who I work with um, and friends, we don't have a huge marketing machinery behind us, so we're just promoting it as we walk, so to speak. And and, um, and um, what's been the response to it? It's been it's been positive and mixed response. Um, um, across the board. I mean, I've had lots of questions around why didn't I make it um, a, a, a digital game? Um, and I said because the whole thing about playing face to face within the family, being able to read people's body language as well, isn't it? you know, is, it, it's really what I wanted to, you know, project in the, the resource. Now, here you are, you're a mother. Yes. Um, you, you, you know, you, you've written books, you juggle family life. Mm -hmm. How do you do it all? Wow. <laughs> um, How many children do you have? I have five. Wow. Yeah. I just do it. Um, and I'm pretty hard and disciplined in terms of myself and how I use my time. Um, and my children span from the age of 21 to 12. Um, and I think I would say fundamentally that I work around them and make sure that I'm available for them Presumably first and Presumably a foremost. supportive family as well. Ha sorry. Presumably a supportive family. Yes, as well. definitely a supportive family. Um, but um, yes, we, we I just I just structure my day and my week 
around the work I do, but what's most important is being available for them school runs in the morning mm. and when they come home in the evening to do homework as, as, as often as possible. And of course, in addition to all of this, the mm -hmm. board game, the books, the educational work, you're also a fashion designer. Yes, that's my release. That. <laughs> that's my release. Um, I have a high-end fashion label. I'm wearing one of my pieces. It's called An Embrace, and it's on our so website. So you made that? Yes. Looks a bit like carpet, if you don't mind my asking. I know. It's that. beautiful wool. Like it's hand-knitted, right. and it's very warm and cosy, so it's fabulous um, as a shawl or as a wrap, depending on how you want to wear it. Um, my pieces are all handmade, and they're all handmade in London, which I'm really happy about because it's my contribution to boosting the manufacturing industry in terms of fashion but it's my release so when I'm not lecturing and marking and doing that kind of serious work um, I do this kind of serious work which is visually stimulating and exciting. So is there an African element to the things you do your fashion design? Most definitely. Like what? This is um, on my waist <laughs> and typically it'd be around my shoulders if it was just a traditional shawl. Right so, mm. so what other sort of designs have you made? Um, I have coats that combined fabrics, um, Ankara and um, false fur, um, and uh, shoes that integrate Asho OK with uh, leather, okay. um, and the colors that I pull together. Well, Atisi Shosimi, we're very proud of what you've done. Thank, Thank you very you. much indeed for coming in. Thank you.